hey! Hello and welcome to my series of Indeterminately. Uh, Marley Discovers University. Meet my sin, Marley Scott. She was not created in CAS, so no, no, no. She is actually a game-born sim. She's from my other series, Veteran Mom Tries Sims 100 Baby Challenge. In that challenge, I'm up to, like, episode 36. My matriarch, Ridley, has given birth to and raised our little Marley here, and Marley has now come of age and was ready to fly the coop. Now, don't blame her, because it's not easy living in a house where your mom is determined to keep having more babies. Marley was often lonely, and she could get a bit dramatic and moody because of few social options. I mean, sometimes hanging out with the little brothers and sisters just doesn't cut it once you're a teen, so I can't say I blame her. She grew up in Newcrest, and she has 15, almost 16 siblings. She just graduated high school and aged up to young adult, and she wanted to spend some time with her father. You may know him. It's Makoa from Sulani. She figures she'll spend some time with him and get to know him a little better and his family a little better and knock around on the beach for a while while she sends out applications and decides what she wants to do with life. So let's follow Marley here and see where life takes our girl. As you can see, she has the aspiration of being a computer whiz. She wants to be a programmer. She is squeamish. She is athletic and she is a bro. So she should feel right at home in college. And there's a lot of different ways she can go with those kinds of qualities. So here we go on Marley's adventure having just moved out of her mom's house. <laughs> this is our girl here with the uh, sweat sweatshirt on. Um, she was a bit of an overachiever, I should say, because she has three good character traits. She maxed out three of her character traits. Good manners, responsible, and compassionate. So especially responsible is going to help her really well when she goes off to university. She's also a quick learner from having her nerd brain trait, but she didn't actually, we didn't choose that for her. These were all randomly selected traits for her because that's the rules in the 100 Baby Challenge. Spoofer. He doesn't look too good, does he? Hey, Dad, so nice to finally be at your home and to meet the rest of the family. Okay, I've tweaked the house a bit to make sure there's enough beds to accommodate everyone, uh, and threw a desk in the there. Computer. Let's get her the laptop from Go to University, because I believe you can move that around with you. Unfortunately, it doesn't come in a lot of colors, but we'll get her lightning. Everybody get inside before somebody gets struck by lightning and killed. Everybody's going straight for the computer. She's in an awful mood. Let her eat something. Why is the fridge outside? Marley, will you get your damn food and get out of there, please? She was hungry, the storm makes her tense, and she was wet to boot, so... There you go, she's not wet anymore, she's already feeling better. Now we can get on there. There we go, University, Research Universities, Research Foxbury. Uh, hello? Mr. Wayne, it's not your computer. And after researching Foxbury, she can research the other one. So Foxbury Institute, consistently rated premier university, boasts modern campus, impressive facilities, broad swath of alumni. Alumni, I'm sorry, I mispronounced that. I did go to college. I did. Who have emerged as innovative leaders in their respective fields. Universities always looking for students who dare to dream big degrees. Art history, communications, culinary, drama, fine art, history, language. Distinguished degrees. Biology, computer sciences, economics, physics, psychology, zoning. They have the Foxbury Spirit Squad, the Brainiacs, and the Bot Savants. Brightchester. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The University of Brightchester holds a millennium of history. Wow, it's like Hogwarts. Uh, within its traditional halls of learning, and they've taught every type of student from royal to unknown prides itself in educating both minds and morals. 
molding students into well-rounded and upstanding sims ready to enter the world and make a big difference. Let's see, degrees, biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology, ability. <laughs> I love that you can go to college to become a villain. Distinguished degrees, art, history, communications, culinary, drama. okay. So the science degrees are regular degrees at Brightchester and are distinguished degrees at Foxbury, while it seems like the liberal arts degrees are regular degrees at Foxbury and distinguished degrees at Brightchester. So if she gets into a distinguished degree program, I think that is going to determine which college we actually go to. A person to apply for scholarships. Let's see, email a form of guidance counselor. See what the guidance counselor says. And then we will review scholarship info. Marley has the best chances of earning these scholarships. Sulani residents. Let's see, they have distinguished scholarships for Sims who've been accepted into distinguished degree programs. Okay, so she can get into that until she's actually been set. Need-based. I guess she's a little need-based. I mean, her mom only has 10,000 and her dad only has 16,000. I mean, she's not desolate poor, but you know, she's definitely not a wealthy kid. Skills, scholarships. How far do you have to develop your skills? Okay, career scholarships. She doesn't have a career. So she's not going to win that. Resident grants, well, there you go. And sports and esports scholarships. She can play sports. She's athletic. Well, let's see what she can apply for right now, at least the Solani one. Helping hand with moderate household funds. I don't know what they consider moderate, but let's apply for that and we'll apply for what the other one was. Which is probably the Sulani one that, that her guidance counselor suggested. Residents of Sulani. Okay. We applied for scholarships. Let's apply for college now. Let's see what happens. Oh, it costs seventy five dollars. Seventy five simoleons. Maybe she should start working on her programming. Because maybe she could get it up enough. Go hack something. Go hack the Lothario Trust Fund. He's one of your siblings, baby daddy. Marley's university application is on its way. They'll look it over and mail the results back sometime in the next two days. She may also check her application status on the computer. Okay, cool. Oh. Her hacking was successful. And maybe you should go to bed for a while, Molly. Felina's bonzoi. Shimmery loin. Zafis moochie peachy. Benjil. Lullaby and goodnight with roses be dead. Lady down, now invest. Good morning, good morning. What are you cooking? You don't know how to cook. Don't set anything on fire. Ew. Should have had cereal. Always pouting this one. Always uh, got a pout on. I'm really hoping that changes when she's off to university. Waiting on my college applications while I work on my tent. But I hope I get it. I hope I get it. I'm a baby golden Dun dun dun, getting stronger. Dun dun dun, waiting long Okay, let's check up on these things. No, she didn't get any scholarships, not even the Solani resident one, that's just sad. Well, let's see if she got into university. Okay, she was accepted to both for basic degrees. She was not accepted to Brightchester for a distinguished degree, but she was accepted at Foxbury for a computer science degree. So I think that's what we are going to go for, the computer science degree at Foxbury. Now, how do we do that? Let's see. Enroll. Enroll. He's looking very sad. Well, you shouldn't have eaten food that went bad. 
let's see, choose a university, Foxbury. That's that's the modern institution, okay. Uh, distinguished degree, computer science. I'm not gonna make her, I heard she could take up to four classes. But I, I want her to have a lot of extracurricular activities. The benefits of this degree, okay. So let's take one class and one elective. Hmm. Writing sadness. Oh my gosh. What is brunch? Um, I think I'm going to take logic analysis. Oh, definitely want to live in a dorm. Let's live in university housing. Let's see. Brinny Tower costs $292. University housing at Maritime Matter costs 646 Wow. And Tidal Tower costs... 293 only a dollar more what's the difference let's let's splurge for the extra dollar see what we get out of that okay it also says the same thing okay let's go with title tower so the cost will be okay 240 per class and 293 for housing 773 that's not bad i'm gonna pay out of the household funds let her dad pay for it oh she's gonna head right there um let me see I don't want to take all their money, but I want her to have some. <sighs> what if I gave her $3,000? That sounds fair. Oh, okay. Her computer was returned to be her inventory. So these are the dorms. Cute. <sighs> So I'm gonna get the single dorm. Oh, that's so foul. I already called that one. Okay, so that one's free. That one's free. That one's free. Karina Talbot. That one's free. Oh, there's three in here. No, I don't wanna live with three people. Ashley Nobile. Hmm. This room is empty. I assume somebody's gonna come in it though. This room is bigger, but you have to share it with more people. Let's just take the other room. Maybe nobody will come in and she'll get it to herself. Okay, let's decorate a little. Are not editable. I heard they were editable though. Okay, so after digging, I found that you can edit them. I don't edit them too much though, because they're kind of cute and like fit the theme. Not actually going to change much, but I want to give it like personal touches, play with the color scheme. Make it look a little more lived in. Okay, so I didn't change it that much, but I did put a bunch of stuff just to make things more homey, especially focusing on uh, Marley's room. I'm going to grab a bed. This is her desk. Oh, she's got a homework book. Awesome. Oh, she's also got one of those guys. So she's got a little fridge and microwave, and she's got all the stuff that she's going to need. And I didn't want to buy her, like, everything on the free build mode because, you know, it's not exactly fair. But I figured there's a lot of stuff she would have brought from home that she would have owned already. Like, you don't need to, you know, she wasn't spawned at this age. She she had a life. So, you know, things like your makeup and your 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 books and your lamp and tissue box. Yeah, I just figured she's going to have a lot of this stuff anyway. So I'm waiting on her roommate now because we have no idea who that'll be i guess she should meet some of the people in her dorm let's get her introduced hopefully she's got that manners thing so she can do polite introductions who's this she's a student okay an elderly student living in the dorm cool no ridley thank you mom but I'm kind of busy with my first day of college. Oh, she has class in 20 hours. And she has class in six days. I guess we should do our homework. Should she have homework? 
Oh, she should go to the bathroom. Meeting everybody. Oh, I'm just making friends. There you go. Go to the bathroom, Marley. She's complaining. Oh. What is her move? She baked a cake. Where'd she get a cake from? They. I thought they didn't have a stove. These are showers. I think our girl should take a shower. Yeah. Her <laughs> mother sings the exact same way in the shower. And she's in a good mood. Got two of them in there. Oh, she could apply for more scholarships? So far, it's all girls, even though they said it was co ed. Ashley. Nobody. Oh, Darsh. Okay. And Karina. So let's see. Sims with a moderate household income may be eligible for that. And what was the other one? What was the other one? Residents of Brightchester. Uh, let's give it a chance. We're residents now. We live on the dorm. Gotta try to get us some of these scholarships. Okay, Marley. Homework. Do homework for programming. What do we have class for tomorrow? Wait a minute. Where are they cooking? How are they doing this? Wait, there's two cakes. And cookies. Where are they getting these from? Oh, she's doing her homework. I wasn't even telling her. But you got to do programming principles because you don't have logical analytics for five days. I gave them a better TV. <laughs> oh my God. Get a room. Literally never saw this. The way he's eating her face is chicken. Don't have to worry about that. Okay, I turn it off. Where are they getting the cakes from? So her class is at... Oh, she's got a final. And her class is gonna be at... 3 a.m. God, I hate all the classes. And then at 3 p.m. On... Wait. On Friday. And it's good. she's gonna need to submit a term paper. Do we have to start writing that right away? Maybe we should get a jump on stuff. Oh, she doesn't really have any writing skills. I hope that's not gonna cost her in that term paper. Oh, okay. Email professor about progress, research, university, scholarships, university coursework. Cheat on homework. <gasps> Don't you dare. Okay. Study. She can study for her classes on her computer. Submit. Plagiarized. Come on. Write the term paper. <laughs> this is... Tabitha. <laughs> Oh, we've got a roommate! Her name is Corey, and she went straight to sleep. She's getting to know her some of her friends at the new friends at the dorm, and that's really cool. These girls look so oh, they look so much alike. Are they related? Ashley Tabitha Hillman. No, they're just wearing the same dress and they both have black hair. Mm -hmm. You've got to make friends with your, your, your roommate. Wow, she's pretty. Love the hair. That's one of the new hairstyles. Oh my god, she's so pretty. And she smiles. She's so pretty. So dead. It's another one? That's Say hello cool. to people. Tomorrow we have an early class, which is good because then we can get out and explore campus. Thank you. 
<laughs> this is <laughs> Brock Owen. And Darsh Ragavan. <laughs> Andy said she heard we became friends with Marcy Doe. She's pretty cool. Well, thank you, Andy. I didn't know you knew Marcy. Just standing there nodding. She needs amusement. You're talking to all these people. Why don't you play some video games with them? Let's see. Play with Corey and Brock and Tabitha. You need to make better friendship with Tabitha. Who are all these people? Get oh, who made part? Somebody's having a party. Elder. My Cass. She in school too? Spencer Stockton is here for the roommate's party. Here's Southern. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Lobster Thermidor? Mm. Okay. How are they getting this stuff? <laughs> Are they smuggling it in? Are they sending out for it? They're not cooking it because you're not allowed to have a stove. At least she's having some fun and socialization. She's thinking of babies. She's thinking of the babies at home, like her little siblings or her mouses, or she's seriously thinking about having a family of her own. Damn it. Keep dragging the rug. Sorry. Finish eating. <laughs> Especially since somebody made lobster, because, like, I had its normal quality. Made by Darsh. Yeah, how are you making this lobster, dude? They're college students. They just got here. They're all asleep already. That's sad. A lot of sweet tooth. You should get to your turn, Paper, my dear. Let's get a jump start on the work. Ah, She's bringing her lobster with her. I would go for the lobster over cake and, and black and white cookies. Now, if it was chocolate cake, then we can talk. But, you know, strawberry cake, lobster. Marla's new skill and logic. Allows her to play games and use scientific equipment. Thinking about family member. Let's see which one. She has so many. Dodger. Her brother. Her big brother. How long does it take to write a term paper? They don't even give you any indication. We'll have her go to bed. Because, uh, honestly, she's got to get to bed. She's got to get up super early. She needs a new college wardrobe. That's what we've got to give her in the morning. Our girl's first night at school. Let's see. Everybody's sleeping. Oh, they're also good. All eight of them. Oh, <laughs> you better get up, Marley. You gotta go to. Up, oh, you gotta go to class soon, baby. Hurry up and pee, girl. You're gonna be late for class. Start of term. Marley Scott's university term begins today. It will last for five weekdays. That's a fast term. She should take a look at her class schedule and plan on when to do her homework and study, when to eat, and if there's some time left, when to kick back and have some. Fine. Okay, I guess on that note, I'm going to wrap it up here, but why don't you join me for the next episode where Marley will start school, her first day of term, first day of class, see how things go. Who knows? Maybe the day will turn around for her. In the meantime, you can also check out my 100 Baby Challenge, which is episode 37 now, and look in the description box, which has the link to the challenge, it has the link to my Sims articles, it has the link to my Tumblr page. If you're on Tumblr, give me a shout out. Thanks a lot. Have fun simming and I'll see you next time.